you said you, you just, you prepared for him. Some people take a different approach. With debates, it's just be generally prepared. Like there are fighters who say, I never watch tape on my opponent. I just worry about me. Now I've always uh, taken a different approach. I'm, I wouldn't consider myself anywhere in your league as far as debating, but we happen to have a lot of leftists in the show. I think you need a base level of being prepared for anything. You know, it's jack of all trades, master of one is the original term, and then watch tape to prepare as best as you can for this individual, especially someone like Shank who goes rogue. How do you prepare yeah. in general for your debates? Was this different? I mean, it, it really does differ by person. So, you know, there, there are people who have greater expertise on a specific topic than I do, right? I mean, if I were to debate somebody on global warming, I'd really want to do a deep dive into global warming before I did the debate because they probably have a higher level of expertise on the particulars than I do before I do my right. research. Um, but, I would hope you know, so. when it's a general debate like with Cenk, uh, then you sort of just have to look at his tactics. So the truth is that the stuff that we ended up debating on was not stuff that I had prepped. The stuff that we ended up debating on was was almost like the, there was a list of questions that the moderator was was going to talk about, and that oh, okay. went out the window pretty much right away. So it just turned into a general debate about all these issues. Like I knew that Chank likes to talk about money and politics, so I'd done my research about you know where he got his funding, for example, which you see in those clips. But as for, a general former matter, Republican uh, like, governor, right? Louisiana. Was that? Wasn't it former Republican yeah, yeah, governor? Yeah, Buddy Romer in Louisiana. And then I also mentioned, you know, right after I said that uh, about uh, about him receiving money from Buddy Romer, I said, you know, are you in the pay of the Qataris also about Al Jazeera? Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. had, you know, I, I'd done the research on that sort of stuff because I figured that was going to come up. But most of the stuff I prepped didn't actually come up. I mean, again, right. I had like, I, I had pages and pages of research that I'd done to prepare for him going rogue in a, in a number of certain ways. And when he didn't do that, then it just turned into sort of a normal political debate, and that's the stuff that's, that's sort of my bread and butter. So nor normal political debate about issues like health care and tax, tax rates, that's stuff that I can do off the top of my head because I've, I've just been doing it for so long. Yeah, and I, 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 like, I, like I would say that – I'd say this. If it were Dinesh who had the debate with Chank on those topics, Dinesh would have done fine. Right? Like that, the, 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 the it issue was meant was, to the – yeah, the issue was he just went to prison and divorce. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, and Dinesh was, uh, we spoke with Dinesh about it, and, and he, he was, he, I, I love, and he's going to be on the show next, and believe me, this is not at all a knock on Dinesh, it's just there's a generational change. It's almost like you have someone who's a great boxer, but they're prepared for different opponents. There's, there, there are certain rule changes. You know, you have hockey players in the year, pardon me, the Colt 45. Mute button, sorry, <laughs> that was, that, this is just, this, this is an awful awful beverage for people. I don't know what Billy D. Williams was thinking. Um, and, uh, and he just wasn't ready for what Shank brought. I think you, even myself, I'd be more familiar with, with, with his techniques.